Hey, what's going on? I got a little maintenance video here for the Mustang. Not really because I need to, because I want to. As you well know, I happen to run a full gallon of Lucas uh, upper cylinder lubricant <laughs> through the Mustang here to make a really fun video. And I'm so happy I did because the video is doing supremely well. And uh, I'm, that makes me happy. But what doesn't make me happy is knowing what I did to the car. So I have a few concerns. Of course, all the internet mechanics come and roast me on all of my videos that I make and post of the Lucas video and so that leaves me with some concerns. I know that I failed the spark plugs and they looked awful. You can see right here they were just coated in Lucas and oil and crap. So of course I had replaced them with some NGK ruthiniums and all is well there but I still have concerns about other areas of the vehicle such as the O2 sensor. While I don't think there's any problem with the O2 sensor, I still kind of want to pop it out and check it, make sure everything is looking good that side of the turbo because, hey, you never know. If it could use a little cleaning, it could use a little cleaning. If it don't, well, then I know, right? So that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. Let's have some fun on Cars Create! All right, so of course we got our O2 sensor down here. I already uh, popped the connector off. But one thing I love about four cylinder engines and real wheel drive cars is they're so easy to get to. Like the turbo's here, one O2 sensor's there, the other one's down there. Like I, everything's so easy. You could unbolt all this within an hour. So nice for maintenance, I love it. But of course, I gotta get this O2 sensor out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this out real quick and then we'll check it out and see what it looks like. Alright, let's see here. Moment of truth. <laughs> what does this what does this look like? Like I'm not worried, but I'm kinda worried because of all the uh the internet mechanics. Like they have me believe this thing should be like as black as this plastic right here. But let's see if they are right or wrong. <laughs> look, they don't look too bad. Um I actually wasn't expecting it to be any of this color. Look, it still looks like it has like residual orange crap on it from the octane booster. It's not black, it looks really good actually. Wow, like I said, I didn't think I had a problem and this would definitely allude to there's nothing wrong. So much for all the internet mechanics. Oh, I'm ASC certified. You screwed up your O2 sense. <laughs> yeah, well, I've been an idiot for 30 years, but sometimes I still have spark moments. You can be wrong too, buddy. I'm not no AUC certified mechanic, but that sure looks pretty good to me. Don't smell too bad either. While I have it out, I am gonna clean it up. I mean, there's no sense in not. So I'm gonna use a little bit of electrical cleaner and fine wire brush and just clean around it real quick. Hit it with some CRC electronic cleaner. Oops, that, that was the wrong way. Yeah, makes good uh, surface cleaner too, right? <laughs> It's only a matter of time before I start getting high. Nothing like a good old parts cleaner high. Not that I know any other type of highs. Yeah, I probably shouldn't put that in the video. <laughs> so I'm just gonna lightly clean it around here. Nothing crazy, this is a very loose bristle brush, wire brush, not super stiff. Just enough to kind of clean some of this crap off. Clean around the threads. Nothing crazy. I am going to be replacing this before I tune the car with a fresh one. Just, you know, just because. But for now, at least I know this one's going to be perfectly fine. Look at that. Looks brand new, don't it? It's amazing what a little bit of cleaning can do. All right. And now I think it's time to throw it back in the car, right? All right. Stick it back down in there. Now, the good thing is since I already got it out once, when I try to take it out again to replace it, it shouldn't be that much of a pain. Because trust me, little do you know, I did not just use an adjustable wrench to loosen it. No, sir. That's just the magic of video editing. But I am going to use an adjustable wrench to tighten it. Okay, nice and snug. There we go. And pull the connector back up. Back here. Right. And, oh yeah. I think that's the easiest O2 sensor removal and install I've ever done on any car I've ever owned. Eh, that's not true. Actually, the 
223 Fox body was also super simple because it was pretty, like the whole exhaust setup is so similar to these modern EcoBoost cars. So that was also really easy to put an O2 sensor in. I still don't think it's easy as this car, so that's like the second easiest. They think this is still the easiest. So, eh, what are we gonna do? But at least we got that O2 sensor out, clean, put back in. Ah, but you thought this would be the end of the video. Of course not, it's only been like a few minutes. Why would I end the video now? I have so many more things I could do. Uh, I gotta go pick up some things at the parts store. Now real quick, before we go to the parts store, I had to change a few things. Now off camera, what I did just do is pull out my uh, ruthenium spark plugs right here. And uh, they don't look too bad. You know, they don't have that many miles on them. But I pulled them out because I'm gonna be doing a little bit more cleaning, which is why we're going to the parts store to pick set cleaner up. And I did not wanna, you know, junk these spark plugs up since they are 60 bucks a set. So I went and put my factory plugs back in and uh, that way, if they get ruined, whatever. That's, there were spare plugs anyway. When the cleaning's all said and done, ruthenium's will go back in after I gap them down to 28 thousandths. Because if you remember correctly, uh, these are at 30 thousandths. So I am going to go down to 28. So I guess now that all of that is out of the way, we can go ahead and get to the parts store. Wouldn't be Florida without just stray rain clouds. It's sunny and raining. Like, it's actually not even raining now. It was raining like a second ago. Now I'm sure as soon as I move out of the driveway onto the road, it will be raining. And then once I get out there, it's gonna be pouring because the freaking rain here is bipolar as hell. I still think that's like one of my favorite ways to drive this car. It's just like keep it around 4,000, between four and 5,000 because it's like just so punchy there. Like it's not super fast, but it's just that really punchy torque and it's like quick enough to be fun. I'm right, pulling up to the store now. Good old Vance Auto Parts. Ta-da! Time for a little more of that. I think, uh, I think after all I've done, I could definitely use another can. <laughs> right, we're home now, so you know what that means. Go ahead and start the process for this. Yo, <laughs> you already know how I do it. So now you know the drill, just let it uh, sit and bake. Actually gonna let it sit a lot longer this time, more than an hour. And uh, I think we're gonna have one hell of a cloud smoke when it's uh, all said and done. So it's been about two hours now, I think, somewhere around there, give or take, probably less. It's definitely a lot longer than the hour you're supposed to do. So I want everything in there to get nice and soaked in and you know, do a good job. So I don't know, see if there's any smoke that comes out with a cold start, I doubt it. Oh, that actually is a little bit coming out. I don't know if it's kind of hard to tell. Well, that's already a good indication that this is going to look very bad once I get out on the road. <laughs> so I've just been driving around normally. Like, I haven't actually got on it yet, but we're getting on a stretch of road here where it's got a higher speed limit. So I think somewhere along the way, I'm going to floor it and, you know, James Bond everyone. Actually, I'm probably going to wait until I have no one behind me because that's just not good. I'm not gonna stoop as low as to the diesel guys, you know? I'm not gonna smoke everyone out. Just not cool. Ah, I'm actually surprised there's been no smoke show. It was a little bit of a break up there. smoke wow I'm surprised maybe there wasn't that much buildup at all I thought there would be I guess there wasn't definitely feels punchier Jesus but no smoke none whatsoever I don't know I guess that's a good thing but then again I didn't like floor it as soon as I uh, you know went out on the road which is what I did last time so I don't know if that's why it smoked a lot. You know, you're supposed to just drive at highway speeds normally. I mean, the car definitely feels spunkier. So, I mean, I guess it helps somewhere along the way. So, hey, I guess it can't hurt, right? But because I did this cleaning, you know, I was definitely expecting it to do more. But either way, I'm still going to do it. The last part of the whole maintenance here is to... 
an oil change. Yay. My favorite, Castro Edge 550. Because Nepa knows how, Nepa, Nepa knows how. Had to take my money. You know, it's always best to uh, change the oil after you do engine cleaning like that because the crap can make its way past the cylinders, you know, into the oil. It's all nasty. And I mean, uh, truth be told, it's really time. Like usually I try to do it uh, anywhere between four and 5,000 and we're almost at 4,000 anyway. So I'm like, just change it early. That way I ain't got to worry about it. And um, yeah, so. Turn the car back on one more time. See if we can make it smoke on the way home. I don't know, we'll see. I mean, really, it's a good thing that's not smoking. I don't know why I want it to smoke. I guess for that entertainment factor. All right, let's see if it smokes. No. <laughs> no smoke show, but anyway, all that maintenance is done. The only thing left to do is change the oil. I'll probably do that tomorrow morning. You won't see it. You don't need to see it. It's boring. Blah. So I'll take care of that before my outings for the day. And that'll wrap up my stupidity maintenance. <laughs> for uh, hopefully a little while. I'm not planning to do anything more like that Lucas video for probably a long, long time because I, I really don't want to damage the car, but it is all in good fun and the video honestly will help out the channel a lot so we can actually get some fun projects here going with the Mustang that everyone wants to see. So, you know, it's a compromise. It's a risk I was willing to take, but I think we'll pay off, you know, and that's just a game you have to play as a YouTuber. But anyways, I think it's gonna wrap it up here for this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with everyone you know. If you wanna see more content like this and you haven't already, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Keep a look out for the next Cars Created video.